you bought a new Apple Watch basically since 2024, you've probably noticed this no longer has blood oxygen. Well, let's talk about it because there's actually been, hopefully, some new development with the ongoing patent lawsuit. So for those of you who are unaware, there's this company called Massimo that makes like smartwatches that include blood oxygen technology. And they claim that Apple has actually stolen their technology. And as a result, there was this lawsuit and it said that as of basically January of 2024, Apple had to stop selling it on all new Apple Watches. You were still able to get them from third party retailers for a while. And I think actually basically up until September with working blood oxygen. But now if you have an Ultra 2 that's new, like the black one bought an Ultra 2 after January of 2024, bought a Series 9 after January of 2024, or bought a Series 10, you don't have blood oxygen. And I know this is something that a lot of people are actually upset about. When I went to the Black Titanium Ultra 2, I was very upset that I actually lost the blood oxygen tracker when my old Apple Watch Ultra had it. So it was just one of those things that was very annoying because I already had the feature and you were taking it away from me, not for, not because you had a better solution or something like that. You're taking it away from me because of this ongoing patent issue. Instead of trying to find a way to work around it, I personally thought Apple would, but it doesn't seem that way. So we'll have to wait until Apple officially does and the International Trade Committee rules on this case. But let's get back to the whole case and everything else that's been changed and kind of evolved around this because it's an interesting. There was another suit that Massimo brought and it said that Apple actually stole their design for the Apple Watch and Apple won this so that Massimo had to pay Apple. It was only $250 of fines, but that has many hopeful that this will finally and maybe hopefully also get the other case moving with the blood oxygen. Now, there were two separate cases, so if you know anything law related, they kind of don't really connect in any way, shape, or form, but you can also kind of go based off the ruling that sometimes maybe, you know, the way one case is ruled, that most likely is going to happen with the other case. And Apple said they were happy with the results of this, which was that the recognition of their design patents, but they still are focused on the bigger lawsuit. Apple has currently appealed this. They don't want to settle this with Massimo. They don't want to pay a fine unless it's to the ITC. So the International Trade Committee, which is the ones who are ruling over the case, and they're the ones who actually said that the watch has to get pulled, and then they've put it back on the shelves in December of 2023, and then they pulled it again. So right now, blood oxygen is gone completely, basically, from any Apple Watch in the United States. The feature's still there, it just says this app is no longer available on this Apple Watch. So if you buy one in Canada, Mexico, Europe, Italy, Greece, wherever you can get blood oxygen and bring it back to the united states and have no problem you may have some problem with cellular connectivity as we do operate on different cell bands but overall you won't lose out on blood oxygen and it's one of those weird situations where we currently have no solution to this and we honestly don't know how long we will this has been going on since december of 2023 and it's now almost december of 2024 we're basically a little more than a week away so we have really no updates on this except for that key patent lawsuit f about infringing on the design which is where i think this that might be apple's kind of punch to take away to give us back the blood oxygen feature which i know personally i'm so excited for because i feel like maybe this is going to be kind of like that christmas gift we get you know we've been on this for a year here you go here's blood oxygen back but we again won't know for sure so let me know what your thoughts are with a comment down below because i thought this ruling but where the judge said that um there was no patent infringement was very interesting and because that was ruled in Apple's favor and they won only $250, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's still something and maybe that'll help them win blood oxygen in the future. So let me know with a comment down below. And while you're down there, if you wanna hit like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. And I want you to remember that today's a good day to make a great day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.